Good morning, Aspie World Superhero Fam. Um, I'm doing this video today because there's been some kind of like, I wouldn't say controversy, but there's been some tea, some drama over the weekend online concerning me in one of my videos. Um, and so I thought I would, I would address this in a video. Uh, so basically, um, basically, there was some like random person from the autism community made a video about me saying that um, I, I shouldn't use the word uh, symptoms uh, in, in videos because the word symptoms implies that uh, autism uh, is a disease and it for can be cured and um, to be honest with you I don't um, prescribe to that notion that it is a disease it's not a disease it can't be cured and um I'm not a part of that community. And also there's um, the video by this person then goes on to uh, say that um, the language I guess causes people to, to support bleaching uh, of the, the, the rectum um, of children with autism by these horrific people, which is horrible. And I don't support any of that at all. You know, it's just ridiculous. Um, to, so to lump me in the same boat with that is pretty horrible. And then I felt kind of quite bullied by this because they, they came and put that video on my profile, on my video. And I thought that was kind of unfair. Um, and, and I felt really bullied by it. And the reason I felt bullied by it was because it was really nasty, kind of spiteful, quite hateful commentary um, using my name and then talking about all these other horrific things, which, you know, what, what on earth? Um, so I tried to explain that, look, yeah, I, I get what they're saying. I get the idea that, you know, they're using the word symptom um, and it could be pursued wrongly. Um, and I get it. Uh, but the idea is that, you know, let, let's put this into perspective. And I did this, I did say this to the person um, and they didn't get it. So let's try and break it down. So anybody who has an issue with that can understand why I use the word symptoms in the title tag of videos. So basically, um, people who are searching for autism information on the internet are looking for specific sets of words. These are called keywords, right? And so a keyword is a word that will um, appear multiple times in a search. So basically that means a lot of people are searching for a specific term. And the reason they search for that term is because they're trying to find information on it. So if you're new to the autism community or you've just been diagnosed or you're, or you're thinking, hey, you know, somebody I know may have autism, you don't know what the terminology that the community is using. You don't, you don't know that they use traits or characteristics. You know, you, you may be of the prescription that you use the words symptoms. And that's not your fault because, you know, you're not nasty or evil or horrible. It's just because that is how you um, have learned to understand anything to do with medical practitioning. So you go on the internet and you type in uh, Asperger's symptoms. Now every single month about 400,000 people roughly search for that. So I'm making videos to educate those people. So for those people to find my videos I have to use their the, the things they're searching for in my video tags because if I don't do that then no one's going to see the videos and it's not going to help anybody. So that's the reason I use it in the title tags. You know and they didn't get that. They didn't understand that. They said I was using it for views. Well, okay, of course I'm using it for views because if I have no viewers, what's the point of making the content? If nobody's watching it, then why should I make the content? You know, the idea is to make the content so it reaches people, so it educates them. And so that was why I used the word symptoms, you know, very, very simply. And getting views isn't a bad thing. That's the idea of making videos. You make videos, you put them online to get views, and then you help people. That's the outcome. You know, that's why I do this. And I got why they had the, the issue with symptoms. You don't have to, you know, attack me and bully me and have their, um, their followers come over to my page and start calling me names like, you know, asshole and bitch and butthurt and all these horrible things. So I had to then block those people because they're making my page a negative space. You know, my page isn't a negative space. And as you guys know, I'm all about positivity, making sure you guys feel awesome. And they just made it a hateful kind of area. So I, I deleted and blocked some of them. And then I got some more hate because I deleted and blocked people saying that I was questioning their freedom of speech, which I wasn't. I was just making sure that the people on my page weren't gonna come there and see a load of like hate-filled comments. So, there was that. Now the second thing that they said, you know, you know, and these people were just random people, they said that um, they had an issue with the stim that I displayed in that video, uh, and the video was the video I uploaded last week, which is the, um, you know, seven Asperger symptoms in 90 seconds, right? Um, and uh, the, I was going to um, show different stims that I do, so then my partner um, said, no, why don't you do the stim? Well, that, that's like kind of like a tick as well, so it's like a tick stim, so my, my, my neck goes and then my hands go, and, um, and this happens quite often. This is probably my most regular one, and so I did that stim, and I got a comment saying that I was mocking stimming. I'm, like, I'm sorry, but I have an autism spectrum condition myself. I have autism and I have these traits and I was just displaying these traits in a video and I got really upset that these people said that I offended them by showing my my stim and saying that these these stims weren't real. 
I, that's just really weird and bizarre to me. So regardless of those people, I, I just want to make this video to say that, like, this is going to be the end of it. I'm going to put it in this video. I'm going to delete the, the, the post I put up yesterday saying, like, I wonder why people are bullying me because it's just obviously attracting hate and, and, and stuff. So, and any comments on this video that are hateful and nasty will be deleted because this is just a place to be happy with. But I had to address this so that you guys, you know, know what's going on. So on the contrary to that, I wanted to kind of share with you what, what we do at the Aspworld and why it's so important and what, what I do, you know, so I don't want to be a negative video. So what I'm going to show you is this, you know, so since I started the Aspworld, World, um, I had this plaque from the National Autistic Society that says, basically, it's from the CEO and it says, like, thank you for the work from Mark Lever and everyone at the National Autistic Society. And that was really, really nice of them to say that. Um, not only that, I just want to show you this wall. Like, nobody sees this wall in my house. So basically, when you when I'm doing my videos, this is the, the, the shot that you guys see, right? Um, and if I open that out, you just see this here. And so basically, what I wanted to show you was um, the, the wall that you guys don't see, which is um, which is on the, the other side of, of here. And this is just full of, like, thank you notes. Like, these kids drew these pictures of me because I helped them out. Um, this is a this is a thank you letter. Um, here is an award. I won a YouTube Next Up award. This is another thank you letter from a subscriber. This is a thank you letter from somebody. This is a thank you letter. That's also a thank you letter. And this letter here, which I haven't put up yet, is also a thank you letter. So it, it's having those things um, that really make me want to do more of these videos and why my videos are important. And, and, and seeing these things changing lives and helping people is exactly why I started the channel. Daily, I get people saying to me, like, thank you so much. You've helped me with this or you help my daughter or my son with this and because of you know my videos I help them get the diagnosis and I help them get through the process quite easily and get the diagnosis that they were happy with and and really come to um, access support and all the things that I do to try and support these people in this community and that was the idea of the Aspen World um, channel you know that's that's what we're doing here we're changing lives and we're, we're um, influencing people to do more and get the right access to the help that they need and um, not only that, I mean, we were, um, so the Aspie World was nominated and I was a finalist for an Autism Hero Award. I was also nominated for an award last year um, and uh, in, a, in a certain category. And these kind of things uh, to me are, um, they're not what defines the channel, but it's nice to see that, you know, I'm recognized for doing things. And we as a community, because it's not just me, it's you guys, the Aspie World isn't me. The Aspie World is our entire community. So that's why I feel strongly when people threaten the community. It kind of like makes me feel a bit uneasy, you know, it makes me feel a bit sick. But saying that, I'm going to rise above it. These people are, are, are not important, you know, these people, are, they don't define who I am. And another thing is that they told me that um, they were trying to define bullying, saying, oh, you're not, you know, you, 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 that's not bullying, you know, because I put up saying I felt bullied and they said, yo, you're not being bullied. I was like, well, that's not for them to decide. It's for me to say if I'm feeling bullied or not, and I'm saying I feel bullied. It's not up to someone else to decide if I feel bullied or not. That's how I feel. You can't change that. So regardless of that, this is going to be the end of it. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I'm not going to associate myself with those people because they're negative people and we don't need negativity because... Well, in 20 years time we're going to look back and say like you know random so and so Joe Bloggs from bloody somewhere in the world said something about me I couldn't care less I just want to move on with it and just go okay well look they're, they're nothing I, this, this isn't important to me it's helping people changing lives building community and then um, and seeing a difference you know that's what's important so I will continue to make the videos that I make because I feel strongly about it and I feel like it reaches the right people and it helps change people's lives um, and I hope that you guys understand uh, you know that, that all that drama and stuff but I didn't like to bring you guys into it but it, it affected me and my channel and it affected you guys as my community and I love each and every one of you because when I put that up on Twitter and uh, Facebook I got so much love back and I felt so loved from it and I had private messages from people who know these you know random people and they said that you know they, they were disgusted by it and, and they, they really kind of they, it was nice to, to feel loved so guys with that this is the end of this video back to normality back to regular scheduled viewing and we are going to kick some butt by making some super awesome content and I love each and every one of you, and I, I mean that from like the bottom of my heart. I'm completely 100% transparent here and honest with you guys. I never ever fake anything, and uh, I just, yeah, just this is a place for love and acceptance. This is no place for hate, attacking, damaging, bullying. None of that will be tolerated. Peace.